was Cleopatra. Cleopatra was a queen of ancient Egypt and one of the most famous queens of all time. She was the last active pharaoh or ruler of the ancient Egyptian empire and ruled for 21 years from 51 BC until her death in 30 BC. She was known as the Queen of the Nile. How did she become queen? Cleopatra was born in 69 BC into the royal family that ruled Egypt. In 51 BC, Cleopatra's father and pharaoh of Egypt died, and her brother, Ptolemy XIII, became the new pharaoh. According to Egyptian law, pharaohs had to marry a sister to ensure that the royal family always stayed in power. Ptolemy married Cleopatra, and they started ruling Egypt together. However, Cleopatra wanted to rule on her own, so her brother and his supporters soon forced her off the throne. Who was Julius Caesar? Julius Caesar was the powerful ruler of Rome at that time. After being forced off the throne, Cleopatra asked Caesar for help. In 47 BC, Caesar defeated Ptolemy XIII and his army at the Battle of the Nile, and Cleopatra, once again, became Queen of Egypt, together with her younger brother, Ptolemy XIV, whom she also married. During their time together, Cleopatra and Caesar had fallen in love, and they had a son, Caesarion. Even though Caesar was already married, Cleopatra went to Rome and lived on one of his estates. However, in March 44 BC, Julius Caesar was killed by his senators, and Cleopatra returned to Egypt. A month later, her brother, Ptolemy XIV, died of poisoning, probably on Cleopatra's orders. Cleopatra then named her three-year-old son, Caesarion, as co-ruler, and they ruled together until her death. Who was Mark Antony? Mark Antony was a loyal friend and supporter of Julius Caesar. After Caesar's death, there was a struggle for power in Rome between Mark Antony and Octavian, Caesar's adopted son. In 41 BC, Cleopatra met Mark Antony, and they also fell in love. They lived in Alexandria in Egypt, and had twin children, Alexander Helios and Cleopatra Selene. However, Antony was forced to return to Rome to marry Octavian's sister, Octavia. After three years, Antony left Octavia to marry Cleopatra, and they had another child, Ptolemy Philadelphus. This made Octavian very angry, and he declared war against Antony and Cleopatra. Octavian defeated them in the Battle of Actium in 31 BC. Antony and Cleopatra fled to Alexandria, but Octavian captured the city, and Antony killed himself. Soon after this, Cleopatra also killed herself. According to legend, she let a poisonous snake bite her. She was 39 years old. After her death, Cleopatra's son, Caesarion, ruled Egypt for a short time, but he was soon overpowered by Octavian. After Cleopatra's death, Egypt became a province of the Roman Empire, under the rule of Octavian, who named himself, the Emperor Augustus. Did you know? Even though, Cleopatra was the Queen of Egypt, she was not Egyptian. She was the last of the Macedonian Greek dynasty that ruled Egypt from the time of Alexander the Great's death in 323 BC. Cleopatra was very well educated in mathematics, philosophy, and astronomy, and she spoke about 12 languages. Many stories have been written about Cleopatra, the most famous being Antony and Cleopatra by William Shakespeare. And one of the most expensive films ever made was Cleopatra, starring Elizabeth Taylor, in 1963. The film cost $44 million and had some of the most expensive costumes ever used in a film.